My name is Mike Ronto. I'm 14 and my job is to watch over London like Spider-Man in New York. It's not very easy though. <laughs> it all started when I was two years old. There was an accident. I don't know what it was, but maybe you do. Thank you for coming to our party. Oh, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Target locked on. Stand by. For laser. Oh! I was okay. Well, feeling okay. The doctor said I had large flexibility, superhuman strength, and strong spinny legs. My mum told me everything a few years later. Though she didn't explain anything about what exactly happened to me. Then I said, With these new powers, I will fight crime! And it's just what he did. You're under arrest for being fat and being a member of a horrible robber gang that has killed nearly 30 people in three days. Do do you Times were hard. I was fighting crime and defending the city. It was a sort of mix, and it was not easy at all, like I said at first. But one day I knew I would meet my first big nemesis. And it came on January the 4th, 1999. I, Dr. Stromzy, has created a helper robot for my and scientific needs. It is also used for military uses. His weapons include military guns, grenade launcher, and a giant rocket launcher attached to his head. He can fly too! Here I go now, here I go into the 
Deputy, I would like to ask you a few questions about your encounter with this robot. He's not just a robot, he is my robot, which went berserk for some reason. What questions do you have in mind? Is my robot dead? Dr. Stromzy, be quiet. Deputy, this robot is Stromzy's new invention. It costs a lot of money to design. It would be a disaster if it was destroyed. How did it malfunction? I don't know! I was doing a demonstration with it, and it just blew up the audience! I want every little detail, please. First I explained the info to the audience, then it went up in the air and shot a firework in the air. Go on. It exploded in mid-air, and a fireball from the boom hit him on the head, and then he just killed everyone. What happened to you, then? He tried to kill me, but he just knocked me out. We should investigate this further. How long were you working on your robot? Seven years? Why? Cause you may have made a mistake, making a circuit weak or something. Uh. I wouldn't think I would do a thing like that. I mean, his legs are made of steel, and his head is made of adamantium. Maybe something came loose in his circuit, and that was what made him short circuit. Maybe you're right. The circuit couldn't help but be loose and wobbly. Maybe the fireball from the explosion hit him on the head directly where the circuit was. Hmm. Perhaps. Uh, what is your robot's name? Well... Because it was originally going to be used for military uses, I called it... <coughs> General Bazooka. General Bazooka? Yes. This now has a mind of its own. What weapons does it have? Well, as you saw, it has a rocket launcher on its head, but it has more. A grenade launcher and super strength. It also has a very powerful new type of helium which allows it to fly. But with all that power mixed with a will of its own, it could destroy the whole of London. I'm sorry, Dr. Stromzy, but I will have to destroy before it kills thousands of innocent people. I'm sorry, Deputy, but I can't let you do that. We'll talk about that later. Maybe I can shut him down. I wouldn't think you can, now that it has a will of its own. Maybe I could stop it myself with that. What is that? It's my latest invention, a glider. And what's that? Oh, that's just a prototype for General Bazooka. Okay, listen, I gotta go. Do you know the way out? No, but I'm sure I'll find it myself. All right, see ya. I defeat the one thing that can destroy the whole of London without becoming the target of the richest man in the whole world. Wait, maybe he doesn't have to know.
stand, Deputy! You are the city's own bodyguard! Without you, the city is nothing! NOTHING! As it was I who turned against them, not letting them use me, so can you! <laughs> My work is done. Unfortunately, I had no idea that was just the beginning of what was to come. Life is always hard, but now that you've seen what my life is like, you've got no idea. This is the last that you'll hear of me, for now.